Nick David here with Guide Recommended. I am getting stoked about brook trout season. So getting into spring here in Michigan, but I like to fish Michigan and down in the Smokies in their springtime as well. But over the course of the year, I like get everything mixed up in my fly boxes. And I thought, well, I'm organizing them. I would hit like my half dozen favorite flies for brook trout fishing. So we'll get into some close-ups on each of them and then maybe some little bit of snippets of catching fish on some of these flies. So let's dig into some close-ups of each of these flies. Like I said, maybe a half dozen, maybe a little bit more. Maybe I'll include some bonus flies as well, okay? Thanks. So number one fly, elk hair caddis, you can see I tie a bunch of these guys. Bushy ones I will tie in order to use in dry dropper setups. I will use a darker brown hair and then also the lighter hair. All right, depends on what I'm seeing on that time. But number one, elk hair caddis. Let me see if I can get you a quick little picture of a fish getting caught with an elk hair. And then next up, Adam's flies, parachute Adam's in sizes everywhere from 14 to 18. I will fish these. This is a 14 right here. Wonderful for a dry dropper setup. Grease this guy up well. Whenever you've got some mayflies, parachute atoms. Next on our list, it's called a foam stone or a foam yellow sally, or some folks will call it a never sink very popular down in the smokies this fly perfect for dry dropper setup i will fish this along with a small midge hanging off a super effective go-to pattern stimulators when in doubt pull the stimulator out so this is a stone fly stimulator in michigan here we have a popular one called a scopper it's like half hopper and half skunk Floats real well, really effective, moves a lot of water, good searching pattern when you're not seeing much going on. Five, which is our Griffith's gnat. I fish these like crazy. Anytime you see some small rises with those brook trout, but can't tell what it is, I will switch over to a Griffith's gnat, tie this guy up and fish it. Super effective, looks like a cluster of bugs on the water. Sizes, I will go everything from 18 to 22 in that guy. Next after this, zebra midges are small midge patterns, right? These are little beadhead midges, fast to tie. Beadhead, usually tungsten beadhead on these. Um, browns, I'll do the greens, reds, and blacks. Finally, number seven, number seven is our beadhead pheasant tail nymph. Variety of sizes again, size 14 down to 18s or 20s I fish. Perfect for brook trout. Looks like those crawlers that you'll see on rocks. Let me see if I can find a little picture of a crawler to show you what those look like. So those are my favorites. I think I got seven favorite brook trout flies. Hey, in that description below, check out the link to my article. It goes through even more flies for brook trout fishing. And I think next week we'll have a mini class on fishing for brook trout. Thanks. Subscribe.